Finn, are you reading me? What's the situation with the Planetary Defense Forces? Uh, we're kind of working on it. This wasn't the plan. How about you come down here and you disable it? Oh, yeah, I definitely would. Just, uh, there's a problem. Uh, there are about a dozen TIE Fighters on my tail. Time's up. Let's do this. Leroy! Wait, don't! What was that? Commander Jenkins. He kind of... Uh, well... Oh, great. Oh, the guy was a bit of a jerk. Well, hold on. So many dead soldiers. Such a waste. Oh, my dear New Republic. Don't you realize you are wasting time and energy getting past my defenses? Ha! We are pushing them back, sir. Good. Our TIE squadrons, however, are having a difficult time with the Sky Forces. No doubt about it, my old friend, Poe Dameron. So you've finally come back into my sights. Eliminate the aggressors! We cannot afford having our stock be released! Hang on, we're working on it. Just give us some more time. Oh, I do enjoy a classic bloodbath. Fire when in sight. I really need those defenses down. Anytime. Well, if you haven't noticed, we're kind of in our own bind. What is it? Are their screams so loud they broke the audio comlink peak? Well... They... Are you just going to jumble words like a moron? What?! The planetary defense systems. <laughs> Good job! 
Black Squadron, move in. Forward! Press the attack! What? That's... Just don't stand there! Get out there and deal with the Republic! I refuse to go down like this. Prepare all turbo blasters and the valuables for evacuation. done to these people, I won't forgive you. Stand down! <laughs> Jedi! My shuttle should be ready by now. Somewhere you're heading off to? Ah, I figured as much. If it isn't Poe Dameron. And if it isn't the snake in the grass, Terex! You've been evading us for some time. We finally got you. And here I was, enjoying myself on this lovely afternoon. You will pay for your crimes against the people of Maegido, the galaxy, and my friend, Audi. Hmm. Thank you for reminding me of your friend, Audi. He could say that he charged the push for the resistance. Watch it, you! I am but a prisoner of war. You know the rules. Get your hands off me. You are going to answer a few questions. The Jedi do are as well. How oh, pleasant. Where is Kylo Ren? Kylo Ren? I have not seen him for three years. In fact, I have not heard from the main fleet for some time now. This base was run by me and me alone. He's lying. Oh, am I? I am telling you the honest and simple truth. I don't know what happened to General Hux or my commanding officers. You could probably imagine that, after Snoke's death, the First Order split into different directions to avoid capture. You will tell us where Kylo Ren and the First Order are. You think your mind trickery will work on me? These implants prevent my brain from enduring such sorceress manipulations. Even if I knew the answers, I wouldn't tell you anything. We will find Hux, and we will make him pay for his war crimes. War crimes? The First Order, better yet, the Galactic Empire, did more for the galaxy than your New Republic ever could. Peace, prosperity, order, to obtain true dominion over the galaxy. True order. The debts were a necessity. The people who did not want to endure the generosity of Palpatine or Snoke's rule were dissenters. Pure dissent! 
You believe that every planet could obtain peace. What about the bandits, the thugs, the scum that control those regions? With the Empire or Order behind you, you would not need to feel such fear. The stormtroopers who killed those who dissented would come back in blood. Blood! What you call war crimes, I call accomplishments for peace. And the stormtroopers that came back soaked in blood and filth. They felt cleansed. Because they were clean! Raid! Stop! Stop! Did you not understand what I said? Anger leads to hate. Hate? I've heard it too many times. You heard what he said. He was a monster. He needed to die. He was using your emotions to go his way. He wanted you to strike him down. He might have known where Ben is. I don't care. He was vile trash. He... <sighs> Why are people like that? Just... pure evil. It's unavoidable. The dark side surrounds us all. It is fate that decides if we are to succumb to it. The dark side surrounded him. He basked in it. I can't stand this place anymore. Let's return. Yeah, very well. Come on. for our plan are complete. You sensed it as well. The day of Skywalker's death is within our grasp. Now inform General Hux and Admiral Pride that Operation Hellfire will be authorized. It will be done. You've done well. More so than Snow could ever realize. If you continue to follow my teachings, you will even surpass me and rule the galaxy with the girl. Now go!
What is the verdict, Supreme Leader? I sense unease about my appearance, General Hawks. About the mask? No, sir. Well done. I appreciate its color and design. Prepare our four. Forgive me for interrupting, but why do you not tell us where these strategic plans come from? Who is giving this intel? It could be a trap. How can we trust this person? This man has given us resources to rebuild our armies, weapons, and a vast surplus from the Galactic Empire. And you question his allegiance? Don't be foolish. We relied on what few bases we have left. Admiral T-Rex, for example, provided the Dura steel needed for our vehicles. But the New Republic executed him on a whim. They are ruthless. We anticipated his failure when he could not keep the communications line discreet. We must be thankful that he did not allow the New Republic to catch wind of our coordinates. I don't understand. Why should we rely on external support if our own Supreme Leader could do the same? For all we know, we are spending what we have left on nothing more than our own bait. When we reveal ourselves, they will have us at our knees. Snoke would have anticipated... Any more complaints? No, our dear Supreme Leader, you understand fully what the plan is. Is it authorized? Commence Operation Hellfire. Hellfire. Long have I waited for the day that the New Republic would fall. Prepare the fleet for Coruscant! It's good to see you, sister. Chancellor Mothma. Welcome back, Luke. We've heard about what happened on Megito. I could not... It was unfortunate, but perhaps for the best. That monster, Terex, only continued the pain and torture that his predecessors laid on Megito. With the last of the First Order strongholds taken down, you've accomplished complete peace in the galaxy. Well... We can have dinner without you, Chancellor. Thank you, Commander Finn. But I also must commend our Jedi allies, Luke Skywalker and Rey Solana. Without your help, we could not have taken Megito so easily. Thank you, Chancellor. I am grateful for your support. Now then, I must return to the Senate and deliver another speech amongst my peers. I am sure they will enjoy hearing that another planet was liberated by us, the true protectors of the galaxy. I heard what happened, Ray. I couldn't control myself. Luke and I have taught you. You must control your emotions. May I? Luke? Of course. She's all yours. Being a Jedi is great. But when you're as old as me, you get a little carried away. What Tarek said, it sticks to me. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Except when Luke is over my head. You shouldn't blame him for your mistakes, Ray. It... You're right. Luke is doing all he can to prevent you from becoming another Kylo Ren. You did get him off that island. Yes. 
I did. If you let yourself go, it may become that way. But I know you're not at that point yet. But Luke may not see it that way. Then what do you think I should do? Don't hold back. But don't let it out either. Control. Ugh, control this and control that. You and Luke are brother and sister. <laughs> you can call it a Skywalker trademark. <laughs> I guess so. Ray, do me a favor. For a day, don't be Jedi Knight Ray. Just be Ray. Just be me. Now, I'll be seeing you, Ray. May the Force be with you. Goodbye, Leia. Are you coming? I yes, Master Skywalker. Just breathe. wanted to talk to you? Yes. What happened today? It's past now. A major obstacle that you must overcome. That isn't to say that Terex would have received a fair trial. But like many enemies of the Jedi, they can mask what they truly know. I'm sorry for what I did. The anger, the pain, the images. This is how the dark side works. Remember it. It takes these vulnerable things and uses them to influence you. You should know this by now. Balance. <laughs> dark suffocates the light. Light extinguishes the dark over and over. How is that balance? Ray, I know that anger. I had it. My father had it too. So says my master and his master before him, and a thousand masters, so eager to tell us how to live. Ray. I'm just fed up with this last year. I keep hearing the same things over and over again. Balance. Control. I spent my whole life wanting a family. Now I've got one. I won't abandon them. The Force is speaking to you, Ray. When you told me about my mother, I couldn't believe it. But I wonder, why did she abandon me? I told you. She died. But why did she leave me on Jakku, Master? To save you? I d don't know. Maybe it's the Force speaking to you, Master. Maybe I'm just who it thinks I am. And what are you? I'm just a child you found and gave away. That's not true. I know what you're going to say. I should just control my emotions. No, Ray. I'm sorry for what I said. Whatever Mara did to protect you was probably the best decision she made. So you could live. <laughs> you know what? Go. Be with your friends. We'll take a break today. Really? We'll put this aside for now. Go on. Th thank you, Master Skywalker. <sighs> well? Well what? What do you think? For years, I've taken the Jedi Code too seriously. But every time I look at her... I see myself. She does remind me of an eager farm boy who wanted to rescue a princess. 
don't push it. You guys up for a drink? I know this pretty great bar. Oh yeah? You do? What's a drink? Mara. Mara. The sky. Break away from the rule of two, and embrace the Sith Eternal. Immortality will be in our grasp. <laughs> My young apprentice. Power has returned. A great power. An enemy that strides in darkness. He has revealed himself. What must I do? To place a light upon the shadow, you must understand it first. The Force beckons you to the planet of Moraband. Moraband? But that's one of the birthplaces of the Sith. It's crawling with the dark side. It is the only way. What about Rey? You must not allow Rey to accompany you. She cannot handle such dark energy compared to yourself. Her mind and emotions are still conflicted. I understand. I will remind you as well. We cannot interfere. This mission is on you and you alone. This growing darkness seeks to divide the balance set upon by your father. A darkness hidden like a mask within the Force. I also sense the visions within your mind. Memories of a time long forgotten. By finding the truth in these matters, your path will be set clear. Goodbye, Luke. Ben?
This drink is messing with my head. <laughs> this is some heavy stuff. <laughs> so, what is this drink? I've never had it before. Uh, they call it a Tatooine Sunset. Get it? It's green milk. And this is really good. It's making my head woozy. Oh. Uh, uh, well, we should be getting back to the base now anyway. How about one more drink? I think uh, you had far too many. No, I've not. <laughs> one more. You want another drink up there? No, oh, no, thanks. It's just a Jedi getting drunk for the first time, even though she only had one drink. Thank you, though. That monster Terex. I'm glad he's dead. Dead, dead, dead. If only Master Luke understood me. He isn't my father. Father. Oh, he would have said. Yeah, you've had a bit too much. Maybe one drink is just too much for you. Those slaves, those innocents. How could he be that way? Ray, you need to calm down. I am calm. I just need to. I just need to rest. I want to wish you luck, Chancellor. Thank you, Leia. I hope you appreciate my vote for your nomination as Supervisor of the New Republic Armies. I appreciate it. Thank you all for coming on this fine hour of peace. For years we've yearned to remove the stain of the Galactic Empire from our galaxy. Today, we have reached that point as we conquered the final stronghold based on the planet of Megiddo. For years we have... We, we have... We, we have... For years we have... We... Have Mira? We have for years fought the, the Rem. Rem. We have for years fought the re Rem. 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 At last, the work of generations is complete. The great error is corrected. The day of victory is at hand. The day of revenge. The day of the Sith. Today marks the end of the new rip. Public and the dawn of the final order. A new order. A new command. The new Republic reveals itself. Way. 
politicians who drape themselves with the symbols of the once rebel alliance. From this day, those who do not follow the new laws of the final order will be tried and executed. The direction of our course is ever so clear. Order? We have to return to the base. Take cover! Chewie, I need you to go here. Take 3PO with you. I'll contact you on this frequency. But Princess, what about you? What if the soldiers find you? Don't worry about me, 3PO. I can hold my own. <coughs> now go. Go! Wait, Chewbacca! Don't leave me behind! Her R2. I'm just a child you found and gave away. Chancellor, we are being invaded. We need to move you to safety. Oh, I, I feel so violated. Like my mind was pulled into a black void. They'll be here soon. We don't have much time. Where is General Organa? We need to. What a rousing speech, Chancellor. I'm glad you've invited us to take part in it. Hux? Out of nowhere? I would miss this glorious day to hear it again, my dear Chancellor. Now then. Let's discuss your surrender, shall we? Alcohol and First Order Battalions is not the best idea. What are we going to do? They caught us with our pants down! Well, we always do. Fight to the end. I assume that they took down the planetary defenses before they could even react. They for sure won't harm the Chancellor. She's too valuable for them. Or... is she? First Order relies on blackmail and threats. The Chancellor would provide a spectacle of fear for the people. Kylo Ren, 
He must be among them. No doubt. The whole First Order party is here. As much as I hate it, we won't have much luck staying here. We need to find the Falcon and find a way to contact the Republic allies. We need to regroup with Leia and Luke. They would probably be the ones with targets on their heads for sure. <laughs> I saw that the Millennium Falcon docked at Leia's penthouse. Ugh, oh, damn. That would make us too obvious. Especially if it's in the upper city. What paths could we take? We could steal a shuttlecraft! That would be suicide. Especially if the Order is monitoring traffic in the Skylands. We need to find a way to contact the General without our signal being detected, but that would require a slicer who could manipulate... You think what I'm thinking? Ah, that's right, Jaina. Jaina? Uh, who is Jaina? An old friend of ours. We ran into her during a job at Kuat, helped us get out of a sticky situation. Well, last we heard that she was working in the Undercity. Uh, level... Uh, what was it? Level... Level, level 13, 13, 13. 13 Level 13, 13? Bingo. Come on. I must say, General Hux, your integrity is incomparable. Why, thank you, dear Mothma. I hope you understand that this invasion is nothing personal. It's merely the culmination of a few things. Such as? For example, your leadership and the direction your government was taking was, in my opinion, weak. The New Republic was a failed state ever since they could not prevent the deaths of those who perished in Hosnia. Was? Correct. As of today, the New Republic is no more, and the Republic Senate will be dissolved into the Final Order of Planetary Systems. Final Order of Planetary Systems? The Final Order is what is given, and what will be followed. What a particular name! It's almost as bad as Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I always wondered why Snoke didn't designate someone to follow as the true leader. And I don't think General Hux sounds right as leader. Chancellor! It is Chancellor now, you miserable hag! Chancellor! So sorry. Chancellor Hux. For years you've mocked me. I never wanted to be in the shadow of my father, but you, you would remind me of that past! Well, Mon Mothma allowed the Empire to fall, her daughter will allow it to rise again. You're wrong. I have confidence that Leia Organa will stop you and your rabid Sith dog. General. It is Chancellor! <clears throat> Chancellor. Captain Phasma wishes to speak to you. Fine, let her in. We will discuss this later. Consider this a peaceful transition of power. Speak. We've cleared the surrounding city of the New Republic Resistance. Those who couldn't fight back either have surrendered or fled to the Undercities. And what of the Jedi and Leia Organa? The General has eluded our forces. As we speak, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is searching for her. We will find them. Now why don't you and Enric go bug off? I have reason to believe that Poe Dameron, the uh, self-appointed leader of the New Republic Liberation Movement, is among those in the Undercity. Bo Dameron, the one who killed our resident spy, destroyed Starkiller base, and almost killed you, if I remember. Affirmative. And I am the one who wants to cut his throat, if you will allow it. Knowing him, the traitor FN-2187 is with him. Do as you please. However, if the Jedi are with him, alert Kylo Ren immediately.
no sign of her, sir. She was here not too long ago. I sensed her aura. No sign of Skywalker either. You're checking every room, sir. Interesting. He's not on this planet. He's gone. The girl is here. She's grown stronger in the Force. This place goes nowhere. Search every corner and alleyway till you find them. Yes, Supreme Leader. Did I tell you about the time that Finn dated Jaina? No, you haven't. Well, you see, there was this codebreaker named Rose, and, well, <laughs> they went to Canto Bite. Ugh, this story, don't remind me, please. And Jaina was playing Sabak in the back room, and, well, so I pushed Finn into playing a game with her, <laughs> and she was surprised. You were able, for so long, to mask yourself from me. Where is Skywalker? I see you've made your own lightsaber. No need for this thing. Do you think you will succeed? Do you? Selfish. Arrogant. You killed Snoke because you wanted power. No. I killed Snoke because he was in my way of killing Luke Skywalker and freeing both of you and me from these shackles. Something tells me you're lying. I can sense it from you. I'm surprised you noticed. Luke taught me. Snoke didn't teach me everything about the Force. It's quite admirable that you still only know the basics. And you have yet to understand the lesson in front of your face. I offered you my hand once. You wanted to take it. Why didn't you? You could have killed me. Why didn't you? You can't hide, Ray. Not from me. I see through the cracks in your mask. You're haunted. You can't stop seeing what you did to your father. Do you still count the days since you were left on that rock? Such pain in you. Such anger. I don't want to have to kill you. I'm going to find you. And I'm going to turn you to the dark side. When I offer you my hand again, you'll take it. We'll see. Ray? What's wrong? N nothing. Let's continue on. Communications are down. In Coruscant. That can't be right. Try it again. I'm going to head around. I want you to stay by the X-Wing R2. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Just keep trying to get a transmission to Leia. I won't be too long. Stay safe. The ancient Sith texts spoke so much of this place. Moraban. 
Korriban. Probably the closest to hell. Closer and reveal yourself. I am Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. A Jedi, yes. The Force is very strong in you. I felt it before. It was only a matter of time before you would step before me, Jedi. Master. What are you? For many years, I went by many names and titles. Those titles have faded from memory. But the only one I remember was the title... Poor Valum. You are an entity of the dark side. If that is your presumptive title, so be it. What if I killed you? You may strike me down, or let me continue. To suffer through this physical plane of existence. The choice is yours, but I can tell that you have other reasons than just to kill me. You are right. I have a few questions. I want to understand. Is that why you have come to me? Are you a Sith? <laughs> that title means nothing to me. Then what do you know? Do you know of the Sith Eternal? The Sith Eternal? <sighs> The Sith Eternal is a title that few in the Force could comprehend. Do you truly wish to know the origins of this? Or is your mind feeble, Jedi? <laughs> I want to know everything. Ah. The Sith Eternal was a legend passed down since the time of the Old Republic. Through the embodiment of the Sith, the Sith Eternal would rise again and bring eternal control to the galaxy. Do you feel it? Do you feel the power of the Dark Sun? The only real power, the only thing worth living for, do you feel invincible, invulnerable, immortal? Are you all ready to kill a world? Ah! Darth 
Bayan and the Brotherhood of Darkness, also known as the Brotherhood of Rem, sought day and night for the answers leading to the Sith Eternal title. When a member uncovered the legend, greed and entitlement led to the downfall of the Brotherhood. Bane realized that the old tradition would not work. Worthless, arrogance, selfishness. I was wrong. The Sith Eternal is only but a failure of the old ways and we have no other choice but to evolve. The old traditions must die. So... <sighs> He created the rule of two. Two, there should be no more, no less. One to embody the power, the other to crave it. The rule of two. And for 3,600 years, the legend of the Sith Eternal would pass into obscurity. Eternity. Ah, you understand. Eternal life. The Sith unbound by life itself. Some consider it to be celestial by nature. I have felt a dark reaching power. Explain to me what it is. There was one, however, who followed Bane's teachings. The Sith known as Darth Plagueis. For many years, he became obsessed with the knowledge of the Sith Eternal. Plagueis took an apprentice of his own and continued the philosophy of the Rule of Two. However... Like the Brotherhood before him, he sought the Sith Eternal. The Apprentice would accompany him to the planet of Mortis, otherwise known by its ancient title, Exegol. Plagueis would not only uncover the truth of the Sith Eternal, but he would find the answer to create life itself. However, his apprentice accompanied him during this whole journey, and like the master before, Plagueis' greed for the truth and knowledge would only be his downfall. Like the Brotherhood. You understand, it is like a rhyme. Plagueis would follow his master's teachings, only the opportunity came his way. By manipulating the Metachlorians or the Force itself, Palpatine would create an apprentice that would follow without whim. He would mold it to his own creation, each step of the plan falling into place. But how does this explain anything? Palpatine would always anticipate his end. To cheat death, one must use the Force. But he truly could not do what Plagueis did. Figure the legend of the Sith eternal. However, one could manipulate the Force in mysterious ways. Even to create a new Consciousness. But Palpatine's alive? Those being who sit upon Exegol's throne was once referred to as Emperor Palpatine. But he who sits upon the throne is only a duplicate of Plagueis' pupil. 
throughout years of time and Palpatine's knowledge, this being has amassed the true power of the Sith and his true target. True target? Realizing that the Force worked against him in the creation of the Skywalker Lion, he would harness the technology of the Kaminoans, the blood of ancient Sith, Skywalkers, and his own. Palpatine would create the image in his stead. What he could not accomplish during his lifetime, he would complete in his second. The young girl, Rey Solanara. <laughs> True. Why wouldn't I have seen it? Even then, the Sith Eternal remains dubious. The balance of the Force remains in question. I look forward to the results. <laughs> Attention inhabitants of Coruscant, this is an announcement from the final order of planetary systems. Effective immediately, all citizens of Coruscant are being put under martial law. We now rule over your planet, and no acts of resistance will be tolerated. Any acts of defiance will result in immediate punishment, up to and including execution. The New Republic has been deemed an illegal organization by our higher command. Any citizens still loyal to the New Republic or so-called resistance are considered a threat to the final order and the galaxy as a whole and will be dealt with accordingly. Has all been well in my absence? Supreme Leader, you've returned. If I'd known... I don't need grand displays and processions. Or titles. Chancellor. Yes. I assume all went well. Did you find any leads? No. However, I sense their presence. They are close. If Phasma's correct, they must have gone into the Undercity. The Undercity? Why was I not informed? I saw no reason to. It was just a hunch. A hunch? A hunch? Why couldn't I think of it? I should address this hunch right now. As far as I know, the Supremacy's failure was never addressed. And yet, the Order continues to see you as a leader. Uh, Admiral Kalos was the one who strategized the Supremacy Offensive. His incompetence is what allowed Skywalker to kill Supreme Leader Snoke. Correct. I cannot dispose of you just yet. We will do whatever we can to find the girl. She is a symbol of hope. Hope? Belief is the solace of peasants. The people cling to folklore, but they fear the final order. By allowing hope in the people of the New Republic, we give them strength and willpower to push our new order back. I am going to hunt for the scavenger girl. Find any Republic stragglers and kill them. As you wish, Supreme Leader. <laughs> I never understood the religion of the Jedi and Sith. Nor I, Chancellor. When the Final Order grows in power, control, and dominance, I don't expect the titles of Sith, Jedi, or Ren to survive the upcoming evolution. Are you implying? Between you and me, I believe that our dear Supreme Leader will be of no use. While his strength and power within that force, whatever it is, can be strong, can he withstand the power of Star Destroyer laser cannons? But would that be necessary? 
For too long, these religious fanatics have controlled the military. What I am saying, Enric, is that we need to get with the times. But only when the time is right. Now then, round out the prisoners of war and soldiers, and prepare our full military to witness the dawn of a new era. Of course. It feels dead and abandoned here. That's because people who can't find a way off Coruscant have to hide for their life. Jaina? It's me, Poe. We aren't stormtroopers. Let me try this. You once said you ate a roasted porg and it tasted like ban- What are you doing here, Poe? Chewy! Jaina? Good to see you. Oh, dear heavens! You've survived the onslaught! How marvelous! Oh, great. Goldie. Where's BB-8? If he has abandoned you, Master Dameron, then most likely BB-8 has gone on his mission to locate General Organa. She did tell us that she had an objective in mind for him. Hopefully he hasn't come upon any enemies since then. How exactly did you guys find us? Well, if you must know. Because Leia knew my guild was here. <laughs> Oh! Allow me to introduce Lando Calrissian, ex-Rebel General and current head of the Spice Guilds. We know who he is, 3PO. You used to run with Luke. Why, yes, little miss. I've been waiting for you guys to get here for a long time. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is my father. Kinda have to put up with him. Your father is Lando Calrissian? It's an honor, sir. Now, now, you can call me an ex-hero. Remember, I'm the king of spice runners around here. Well, until Lux decided to set up camp in Coruscant. We met him before. He gave us the holocron from Mustafar. I heard you lost that piece. I hope the final order didn't use it. I don't know what happened to it. I'm sorry. Hey, now, don't get all upset. It's fine. I heard what happened. I would do the same thing. You stood your ground, man. Th thank, thank you, Lando. Oh, yes. General Leia requested that you contact her as soon as we met up. I hope she is okay. No, wait. Before you do that, allow me to hide the communication link. Oh, thanks for reminding us. Always on top, Jaina. Leia, you're alive! Just barely. Where are you? Not enough time. I assume you met up with Lando? Correct. Good. Lando is the only one who knows how to mask the Falcon's frequency. What is the situation? Where is Luke? He's not with you. No, I've not seen him. I'm afraid- Always put your faith in Luke. Uh, okay. Now, Lando, if you will, please. The first, <clears throat> final order has silence communications between all neighboring systems. The source of the blockade is a transmission jammer deep in the final order ship, the Eclipse. The Supremacy ripoff? Correct. So far, we've been unable to find a weakness. No thermal exhaust port, no ciliator. In other words, they're onto us. Well, it took them long enough to realize exhaust ports aren't a commodity. Our forces are too depleted to mount a direct assault, but we found an alternative way. There is a beacon. A beacon? When Luke and I first came to Coruscant, 
we explored the Jedi Temple. Luke possessed a Jedi compass of sorts. He wanted to learn the origins of the Jedi before he would begin his own academy. That was when he and I stumbled upon a sort of text that described a communication system from before the Old Republic. It was powered by a nexus beneath the temple. A force beacon. Engineered to call the outlying systems to war. One that can't be jammed? No way that it still works. That frequency? It predates the Empire by a thousand years. First Order's blockade couldn't disrupt the signal. Uh, well, it's worth a shot. Old Republic tech is better than what we have now. It's worth a shot. Who will lead this team, then? Ray. Me? But... You can do it. I know you can. <laughs> That's my calling, old buddy. We'll drop you kids off at the Jedi Temple. Thank you, Lando. <laughs> hey, hey, don't mention it. Everyone should rest up for now. Ray, I trust you will do good. All right, everyone. Come on, Chewie. Let's start packing everything. Coruscant, and give Leia these coordinates. No, I don't know what's going to happen. Make contact with Leia and Rey. Try to. The Megiddo frequency should still be working, so you won't appear on the First Order's radar. Get going. Are you okay? I failed. We were caught off guard. We could have, we should have been more prepared, Ray. All those people. I witnessed the crossfire. I saw the horror. But now I'm expected to solve this, to stop these monsters from hurting anymore. Ray, they believe in us. They will believe in you too. Don't doubt yourself. I can't be who they need me to be. I'm not strong enough. That's not true. Lately, every night I wake up screaming. Every night another bad dream. Is it him? It feels like someone is behind him, watching me. Their eyes won't leave me. It feels like I'm being watched all the time. I can't explain it. You have to shut him out. You can't change him. It's too late. It's never you too late to change. You taught me that.
Come on, we gotta go. Ray, just keep your head up, okay? Uh, yeah. Alright, I will. Oh, look. I was hoping to get ourselves reacquainted, FN-2187. What? What the? Phasma? You died! Did I? Or maybe hell spit me back out? Obliterate them. Are you powerful? I think I Get into the Falcon! No. It's him. Go. Get to the Falcon. What about you? Don't worry. Go. was foretold that you would come here. You are not the true Palpatine. Within the life before, I was but weak. I could not foresee my fate. Through the Force, I created myself anew before the final hour of my life. The original spirit of Palpatine perished. But this new form grows to become ever so stronger. Snoke was a disciple. Ah, yes, Snoke. To rebuild an empire, blind followers like Lucas Mollen were necessary. Through teachings of Plagueis, I would transfer my immense Sith abilities into his form, like a puppet. However, this came at the cost of Moran's body decomposing over time. You turned my nephew into a monster. <laughs> a strong follower of the dark side, but only another tool. Unfortunately, his mind is too conflicted to be truly turned. But by enabling him, he will do what Snoke did for me. Continue the search for the true heir of the Sith. True heir? The original spirit had been destroyed by Vader's betrayal and sentiment. Even then, I would leave a Sith holocron for Vader to find. There he would bring you before me, where I would take on a new apprentice and allow him to destroy Vader. You intended for me to kill him and join you even after I struck you down. Kylo Ren found the message I had intended for Vader to find once your training had been complete. Then who is the true heir? You know.
Shadow that watches me. So, you felt it too. It violates my mind. What is it? I know it isn't you. The dark side. The truth. Palpatine has returned. Palpatine? My grandfather's former master. I've seen what he's seen. This galaxy conquered. You, by my side. What does Palpatine want with me? He sensed your power. He knows that you are strong. Regardless, like Snoke before him, I will dispose of him. But I can't do it without you. I don't believe that at all. Ben, please, you are being manipulated. Come with me, Ray. No. I won't give in, Ben Solo. upon this throne, the rotting, decomposing shell of the dark side, I would mold and create my own Sith apprentice. By chance a child was bred through the science of Wayland, a reincarnation of Abeloth. The birth of the one known as Cadus. But to others, she is known through a different name. I'm not going to let you touch her. Tylo Rin will bring her to me. Then I will destroy the Skywalker bloodline and allow Cadus to take her rightful place. <laughs> Was being correct? Was this the power he sought? <laughs> the ability to drain life and rejuvenate it from the dark side.
Good, they can't spot us now. Hold on, kids. We're heading to the Jedi Temple now. I've waited for the hour of my revenge. Now you've walked right into my hands. Look what you have made. Now I will reclaim my throne. With the girl at my side. <laughs> Alert the TIE Squadrons and destroy them now! They got away? How could they- <laughs> The Sky Lane Monitoring System might have located them. Location? The abandoned Jedi Temple area. I'm on my way then. Supreme Leader. What? Our benefactor wishes to speak with you. Prepare my shuttle. I will take the messages to Hux's office. <laughs> Can we speak with this benefactor? Send all riot teams to the Jedi Temple. We will eliminate them and make sure they have no way to get out. General Phasma. General? Is this what you call a promotion? Yes, congratulations. Leave and dispose of the New Republic fighters. Hmm. General Phasma. Have you found the girl? Soon, we will have her surrounded at the old Jedi Temple. Skywalker's attempt to destroy me was fruitless. Barely a flinch, I defeated him. I would be making my appearance. You are coming here. Yes, and soon. Everyone will witness the end of the New Republic. Beginning with the execution of Luke Skywalker. Bound to detect us here. The Empire bugged this place like crazy. So that means our time is very limited. Let's get moving. Hustle. Well, this doesn't look to abandon. During the Galactic Civil War, this was the site of the Imperial Academy. I heard they trained Inquisitors here. Eh, so they say. Hard to imagine that a place like this was full of Jedi, young and old alike. We need to find the Great Hall. I assume you will 
still want the girl. Lord Ren? She is looking for something. It is not a coincidence that they've stopped here. Dead end. There's a stairway that goes down a long way. The ex-stormtrooper has better navigation than a war hero. Hey, hey, you forget our motor. They're much wiser. Yeah, whatever. I sense Ren. They're on our trail. Then let's hurry. Impossible. Whatever you're planning to do, you won't succeed. I have already beaten Skywalker, and I will beat you. Enough of this madness! Accept your fate. The only thing I will accept is stopping you from hurting this galaxy anymore. If I can't convince you, then I have no choice but to kill you. Eliminate them all. Leave the girl to me. We need to get to that beacon immediately. Finn? It's past that hallway! They blocked off that exit! Get out of here! You two, get out of here! Don't be in such a rush. You can't face them all. Never met. Against the hell, Rizzi. What are you doing? Get out of here! Looking to back down from a fight. Leg you a beer, me, buddy. This way. Mm. Uh, this way. Is that it? Has to be. I just need time to open up this doorway. All traitors get their dues, don't they? FN-2187. 
Come on, we don't have time for this. I'm trying. You won't win. Here we go again. Do I have to remind you? The First Order has already won. Got it. We don't have much time. She's coming. The panel looks bent out of shape, but we should have no problem fixing it up. You know how to fix this thing? I'll try. Keep an eye on that old chrome crone. I don't understand. Why is she dead? I... I killed her! Sometimes, Finn... Uh, evil doesn't die so simply like that. Finds ways to survive, ways we would least expect it. Finn... Got it. Now, we need to follow General Organa's instructions and turn this on for all the droids. I'm hoping the connection to this thing doesn't overwhelm them. This way. What is that? The abandoned Jedi Temple area. Would this thing even work on modern droids? You're asking me about the mechanics of a force-powered antenna. <laughs> Out of your expertise, huh? Out of anyone's expertise, it's space magic. All right. Here we go. Chancellor, we are receiving a communication breach emerging from that beacon. Breach? It appears to be a forced message. Let's hear what this is all about, then. This is General Leia Organa of the Resistance. The time has come. To forge a path to freedom. <laughs> the forces of oppression have ruled our galaxy for too long. Mother. We must join together and fight. Send your fastest ships. <laughs> All your warriors. Shut down the signal. Immediately. We can't find the signal. It's almost masked. Bombard the temple if you have to! Extinguish that light! Burn it out! But the Supreme Leader- Let him die! 
I am the Chancellor! Do as I say! Of course. Our voices will not be silenced. We can no longer live in the shadow of the First Order. We must step into the light. Was I interrupting something? No! No! I need you to get back. Oh, no. We we need we can finish this. We can still do it. You know it better than me. There will be a dozen troopers coming down that hall. You need to go, Finn. Oh, you know I can't. I think you should listen to your friend. Stay, I insist. You won't live either way. I've committed my whole life to fighting against these monsters. For the greatest thing this galaxy could have, one's been deprived of... Freedom. Oh, you can't! We make sacrifices, Finn. <coughs> Quite a charming lament. Your sacrifice, sadly, will be forgotten. Oh, I can't do this without you! Resistance needs you more than it needs me. It's not true! It's true. <laughs> You're a symbol of the Resistance, Finn. Don't you see? You're one of those who changed. You're the definition of what people can be. Not just compelled to become what people are. I'm a pilot. A damn good one, but I'm just a pilot. And thus, the dominoes begin to fall. Finn. Oh. Win the war. Win the war. <laughs> All tasks are eventually finished. Now it's your turn, FN2187. I think you'll be happy to know that I plan to place you and this pilot's head on a pike. <coughs> what? Oh. I can't believe it's over. On the contrary, it's far <clears throat> from over. You have done well. Luke! <clears throat> Do not fret. He is alive. Who are you? Long have I waited to finally meet my creation. Yes, I created you, the most powerful force user in the galaxy, the symbol of ultimate power, and soon my apprentice. <laughs> You're lying. It is your birthright to rule the galaxy as you see fit. Now finish the task at hand. Eliminate the one who has abandoned you. What about Ben Solo? No harm will come to him. It is your choice, but Skywalker must not live. He 
he never saw success within you. He could never put his past failures behind you. He failed you like he failed Ben Solo. You want to kill him? The force is strong within you. Do it. Let nothing hold back. Take his life and ascend as the true heir of the Sith. With his death, you will put an end to the Jedi Order once and for all. And together, we will embrace immortality. Make the sacrifice! Not today. Master Skywalker! Get behind me. What is it? I suspected it. An illusion. Skywalker. I never trusted your word. I could see through your manipulation. But I need to make sure. Thalum. Or should I say... Darth Plagueis. You aren't as misguided as I thought, Skywalker. You used me to get to Rey. I won't let you have her. She has already opened to me. Your apprentice isn't as strong-minded as you thought. <laughs> Ray! Chancellor, the riots have grown over the past hour, and we are detecting vessels entering the core world's edge. What is it now? We have confirmation. A large fleet is approaching Coruscant space. No doubt, this is an assault by General Leia Organa and the New Republic. Prepare our blockade. Continue with the bombardments. The uprisings can be quelled with our forces later. But having our bombardment fleets would take nearly half of our aerial force for the blockade. You heard me. These people must understand that they should not resist our might. If General Organa has a much better advantage, we need to put all resources to the aerial blockade. You will do what I command. Of course. Continue the bombardments. Send half of our aerial forces to blockade the planet. Don't ever assume that you can overrule my judgment again. Luke, they need you. Close your mind. Don't let the thoughts destroy you from within. Shh. 
she has no choice but to obey. You have failed again, Skywalker. going to say I should just control my emotions. Maybe I'm just here at things like that. I'm just a child who found a good boy. what immortality is? Hiding in the shadows until your apprentice passes away? Palpatine thought he had everything planned. His only failure was leaving my spirit on Exegol. It gave me years and years to regain my form. My strength. So did the power of force, possession, illusion, knowledge beyond any other force user. <laughs> Ray.
Ray. Get up, old man. Ben, get out of my way. That name has no meaning to me. I need to save Ray. I have no time to deal with you. Let me heal you. Stay back. She intentionally stabbed you in the hip, so you wouldn't die. I will not fight you. Fight me! Come back! Come back! Where's Poe? Poe... Where's Ray? She's still in the temple. Someone's on top of the Falcon? I'll deal with it. Why won't you die? Because I am superior. All right, let's go again, Chrome Dome. <laughs>
Hey, kid. I miss you, son. Your son is dead. No. Kylo Ren is dead. My son is alive. You're just a memory. Your memory. Come home. It's too late. You know she can't live without you. She needs you, son. I know what I have to do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do it. You do. Dad. I want those battle reports. Yes, sir. They will be delivered to you shortly. Bride, the bombardment fleet's been positioned. They have. What is the meaning of this? I did not call for a meeting. We should be out there, fighting in the name of the Final Order. <laughs> Wait! Wait! We were so close! Pride! <laughs> Cancel all those bombardment orders. Allow most of our Star Destroyer fleet to enter the blockade. I shall oversee the assault against the resistance scum. Luke. Ben. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Are you sure? Then let's go. Oh, 
Then the voices will cease to exist. You're a deceiver. Those aren't real voices. Take your place as the supreme power of the dark side. Is Ray. Ray Solana. You are Cadis. The only success of Palpatine's attempt to create a Sith beam. You are nothing more than a vessel. A husk that will bring the gathering and allow the Sith to reign for another generation. I am Rey, the daughter of Mara Jade Solana. I will not become some puppet for you to control, like Snoke. According to this Admiral, we are at least holding our own against General Organa's offensive siege. But we are losing our front line. What are you doing? We need to flank around them! We are losing our shields! Admiral Pride, we have confirmation that the last of our forces from within the Unknown Regions is on course and will be here in 20 minutes. Oh, 
idea. I hope you all are ready. Finn, Jenna, man the turrets. You got it! Got it, Dad. Let's give the princess her due in all the light show. is that? General, we have detected the Millennium Falcon. Lando Calrissian has joined the fight! Red Leader, standing by. Captain Antilles! Thought you might need some help, Your Majesty. You old dog flyer, you. What's the plan? We should target their main star destroyer. That giant one? That is where their navigational tower is. I think it's coordinating ships coming in and out of the system. Let's take out these bombardment fleets first, Your Majesty! Leia, do you read me? Leia! Ah, his communicator's dead. And why are we here again? This place gives me the creeps. An informant mentioned the Imperial remnants were seen here in groups. I thought we might as well come in here and break up the party. I see. Ever since we took down Thrawn, the Empire has scattered more and more. I think they may be reforming their numbers. Well, you know what Card says. Bad guys are never good at giving up easily. Exactly. Now, where- Stop right there! a trap. There's more Star Destroyers coming in. Starbound! Oh, no.
move down, but we might keep these ships open for attack. We might have to go back down there, Calrissian. What is it, boy? We can take out the spire from the inside. I know we can. It's risky. We're with you, Finn. Leia, you hear that? Even though Poe is gone, his spirit lives on. Thank you, General. Wedge, stay and defend the fleet. You got it. May the Force be with you guys. Succeed, son. Give Ray to the dark side. You aren't my father. Ray won't fall to your illusions. Neither will I, Plagueis. Then you are wiser than I had thought. Dead. Am I? Or did you fail like you always have? Not surprising that you will always be second to her. Snoke is dead! <laughs> he is right. You can never surpass her. She will always be ahead of you. Why was a weakling like you even born? You don't know anything about me. Or maybe I didn't want to bother. You cannot return as Ben Solo. You will always be Kylo Ren. You cannot return as Ben Solo. You will always be Kylo Ren. You cannot return as Ben Solo. You will always be Kylo Ren.
Admiral Pride, we are receiving a distress call from the ground forces. What is going on? A ship has landed on the navigational tower. A navigational tower? Deal with it quickly! Yes, sir. We will send in our elite squadrons. <laughs> With your hatred, you will join the dark side, and you will ascend. The gathering must begin. All you want is for me to hate, but I won't. Not even you. <sighs> Weak, like your mother. My mother was strong. She saved me from you. And so did Luke. Can you sense their pleas? Their cries? Their pain? They don't have too long. One is coming to help them. And you are the one they depended on the most. If you take the mantle of Avaloth, you can take control of the First Order. Only you have the power to save them. Refuse, and your new family die. Dark side. An illusion. Something is under the rubble. What? A baby? Who would leave a child here? Was this what the stormtroopers were experimenting on? We should head back to the new Jedi Temple. I can have Leia take the child to the New Republic. Find it a home. What if we took this child? What? Do you sense it? The Force. 
This little girl has it within her. She needs guidance. Perhaps you're right. I will take this child under my wing. We'll be like a nice big family, Daddy Luke. <laughs> no, we aren't doing that. <laughs> Attachment Latchment. And Mommy Mara Jade. What will you call this little girl? Ray. Was my mother's name before the Emperor took her away from me? Uh, Ray Jade Solana. Let it go. Don't be afraid, Ray. Leia knows it as much as I do. Don't let people guide you, Ray. You need to choose the path you make. I'm sure Mara Jade would have wanted it that way. Then what do I follow? Your heart, Ray. Some things are stronger than blood. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. I am Rey, the daughter of Mara Jade Solana. ground. If we don't leave now, we are going to be obliterated. We don't have a lot of time. We need to give them time. Ray, wherever you are, I hope you are safe. You took everything from me, but I got it back. But... for how long? The Sith will never return.
Go, go, go! We've lost the navigational tower. We cannot detect ongoing ships within the blockade. Reset it! Reset it! Possibly imagine. I will finish what Palpatine began. As once he fell, so falls the last of the Jedi. Ray. been with you. These are your final steps. Rise and take them. The Force will be with you. Always. <laughs> Okay. Ray? Luke! 
Is it over? Y yes It's over. <sighs> You've chosen the path, Ray. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Now, your destiny lies along a different path from mine. Luke. Your mother always felt you would become something great. Now the Jedi rests in you and Ben's hands. Thank you, Ray. Don't. Luke. Father. I'll always be with you. be with you. little one. That is why fear is what leads us to the dark side. So that is why I shouldn't be scared anymore? Can you promise me not to be scared? I won't be scared. I will be brave like the Jedi. Like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Indeed. Can you tell me more about Luke and his father's adventures? Of course. But after we finish with force training, now run off and finish your chores and we can get started. Mommy, how do you know so much about Luke? Mommy, is something wrong? Go do your chores. Okay, come on R2, let's do our chores, then play Jedi. Your overconfidence is your weakness. He was my father. 